ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय श्रीमान भागवतम फर्स्ट कैंटो चैप्टर नाइन टेक्स फिफ्टीन वंडरफुल इज द इंफ्लुएंस ऑफ द इनएवरेबल टाइम It is irreversible. Otherwise, how can there be reverses in the presence of King Yudhisthir, the son of the demigod controlling religion? Bhima, the great fighter with the club, the great bowman Arjuna, with his mighty weapon Gandiva, and above all, the Lord, the direct well-wisher of the Pandavas. Purport, as far as the material or spiritual resources were required, there was no scarcity in the case of the Pandavas. Materially, they were well equipped because two great warriors, namely Bhima and Arjuna, were there. Spiritually, the king himself was a symbol of religion, and above all of them, the personality of God, Lord Sri Krishna, was personally concerned with their affairs as the well-wisher. And yet there were so many reverses on the side of the Pandavas. Despite the power of pious acts, the power of personalities, the power of expert management, and the power of weapons under the direct supervision of Lord Krishna, the Pandavas suffered so many practical reverses, which can only be explained as due to the influence of Kala, inevitable time. Kala is identical with the Lord Himself, and therefore the Lord of and therefore the influence of kala indicates the inexplicable wish of the lord himself there is nothing to be lamented when a matter is beyond the control of any human being destiny time same similar idea that there's some divine plan that controls everything the unseen controller it's another way of Describing time, he's Krishna says, "Carlos, me, I am time." And he's controlling everything in the material world. He has his different energies. Time is one of his energies. The the time is is moving the whole material world. Lord Brahma is born at a particular time after a universe is generated by Lord Mahavishnu, and it's all happening in a sequence. And Brahma lives three hundred and eleven trillion years by earthly calculation. And then at the end of his life, there is a devastation. The universe is flooded with water, and everything is annihilated and goes back into the transcendental body of Mahavishnu until he exhales again. And all the universes are working under this principle in the material world. But beyond the material world, there is another place. Rastasmat bhavanya vyakta vyakta sanatana. That place is eternal. If if there is a place beyond the material world, then it can be free from time. And that is the Vaikuntas, spiritual, the abode of the Lord. Rastasmat bhavanya. It's a superior place. It's a transcendental place. Those who don't like the inexorable 
influence of time. They don't like getting old. They don't like dying. They don't like things being destroyed. Then they don't belong in the material world. They should go to the spiritual world. And the way to go to the spiritual world is to become Krishna conscious in this lifetime. Or many lifetimes. If it takes longer, it's certainly worth it. One should make that the goal of every life to make some progress. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has made the process of becoming Krishna conscious so easy that it can be done in one lifetime. Simply by taking up the, the activity of congregational chanting of the Lord's name and fame and pastimes, paraphernalia, That way. So I'm going to turn it over now to Sunday. Thank you very much.